Alrighty. This is part two in my CDK drawing tutorial. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to open up GIMP 2. GIMP is another free program. I like it compared to Photoshop because of it being free for one and it's basically comparable. It's good enough for doing what I do. Uh, if you use Photoshop it's pretty similar. I don't think you'll have too much trouble unless you're just trying Photoshop for the first time. In that case, I'm sorry, I can't help you out too much. Uh, I want to open the picture we're going to use for drawing this airplane. And I have it in a certain place. I'm going to attempt to make a rare file or a zip file or both and hook them up to the description and then that way you can follow along or I'm going to show you on the internet where you can download comparable pictures okay ABCD we are going to draw the E14Y Yakuska Glen flight plane okay this is an actual I actually scanned this from a model page I actually have this model and I may be using it for reference. But what I want to do in here in this video is we're going to zoom in a little bit. The reason I like this picture is it shows all the ribs. Zoom back out of here. It shows all the ribs and it's very detailed for what we're using, what we're doing, and we're going to, we are going to draw this plane. This is what we want a 3D model. This is this plane right here? Now, a few things I don't like about this thing is it actually got this page upside down. So let's zoom out and let's rotate this. You go to the rotation tool. Nope, that's not the rotation tool. It's scale tool. Let's go to the rotate tool and let's rotate this 180 degrees just to start with. That's a little better. Okay, now what we want to do with this picture we could use it in blender as such but there's a lot of st stuff when we're drawing the different aspects of this airplane that we're not going to want so again let's zoom in on here not too much and what I want to do is I want to take we need to go to layers make sure you're on this layer Come to layers, go to transparency. It has an alpha channel, so I don't have to add one. If it said if this was darkened in, and then we click on it, you'd add the alpha channel. But it already has an alpha channel, so that's good. Let's zoom out of here. Okay, now we can take the square tool right here, and we can come like this and I hope they get, I hope they drew these airplanes to scale on this thing sometimes they don't sometimes that makes problems so we're gonna take this like this we're gonna come to select and we're going to invert it which means when I hit delete it's gonna delete the bottom part of this picture and that's what I wanted select none you don't really have to sometimes but I like to select none in that way and another thing we can do with this picture is come up here make sure we don't clip that wing this isn't really a big deal but uh, we can also select pure white and then we can take this bucket and we can put in fill hole selection and we can go like this and we can white that out 
you know, white's a lot better, better than that gray, select like none. And... We can take this again. And one thing we want to do before we get too far into this, so if we mess it up, we can just, we don't have to redo the whole thing, as we can save it as. And I want to, I want to save it as a JPG, not an X. And we can come down here, pictures. And uh, we can make this a two, because we don't want to save it over the top of the other one. It'll totally delete our other one. And we can go export and export, export. OK, now if we look in here right quick, We go into our pictures in my D drive, and I come down to a lot of pictures. Okay, we're in the A's, and B's, and C's, D's. Here we go, E's. So you can see we have this airplane. This is our picture, and then we have this picture, and this picture is where we cut it and it whited it out. Now. I want to close this. And what I want to do with this thing now is since we, this square is the picture, I want to go on this layer. I want to duplicate this layer. Okay, now we're on the top layer. I want to rotate this. And I want to actually rotate it 90. So you can actually just hold this thing and sneak up on 90. If you use these little arrows you can do it perfect with the zeros. If you just try to grab that slider you're going to have a hard time getting it exactly. Whoops, I went too far. I don't want to go 98. See how it can take off from you. So you got to kind of sneak up on it. And we have a 90 degrees. Rotate. Okay, now if I take this little crosshair here and move this. You can see how you can see how we got this in the file here. Now what I can do with this is I can scale it. And you want to look Link these two together, and then that way it scales both it scales both your axes at the same time. Otherwise, you can scale the axes separate. But we don't want to scale the axes separate. And we can blow this up a little bit. Scale. And I know that some of this is kind of boring and tedious, or it's it's more boring if you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're following along with me and you've never done anything like this, then it's probably not that boring. You probably have to rewind it and watch it a couple times. Okay, it's not scaled as big as I want it yet. So a few tricks how you can save these things. And you can and you can even save these files separate or you can just like when I'm drawing a lot what I do sometimes is I uh I actually draw pictures on here and stuff and then I uh, save it save it as far as the picture but I don't really save it like I don't save the file I don't permanent permanentize the file which if you're only gonna make a picture or two it's not a big deal but if you are going to actually like if you're making an aircraft skin for War Thunder or something then then at that point you usually want to save this thing so that's a little better, but I still want it just a little bigger. It's just because what I'm going to do is when I save this over the top of this, it's going to replace that picture because I'm going to use the same name file, which means when I save it, is that uh, 
EY Glen 2 because I don't really need that picture the way it is. Scale, let's see if it's too big. What I'm doing right now is I'm saving the bottom shot here. Which actually we will need the bottom of the, the bottom of this airplane. But we'll need it for reference more than anything. Uh, okay, now you see how it what it did is where the picture down here. Let's see that zoom out and see if that that would be more explanatory. I don't know. Oh, well, it's doing this because it's showing several different pictures as why it's making this big square. But that's not actually the size of the square. So let's zoom back in. And let's move this here and we'll see if we can get We actually have those two uh, side shots, which, and it's showing that. So let's see what that's look. That let's see what. Let's save it as. And just for grins, uh, no, I want to save it as the two actually because I don't need that shot of two. So we're going to save that as two, and then again I have to come to. Drive D and pictures because that's where I want to save it as. Export. And this will do this. It actually begs you about four times to save this picture, but that's not a bad thing. Now, when I hit export, it should tell me that there's one in here named that. Yeah, it says this file already ex exists. Do you want to replace it? Yeah, at this point, that we do. We want to replace that picture with this picture. And it asks me one more time export it. Well, the quality is. A ninety should be. Okay, so now let's come back in here. I should have probably just left it open and let's go here. Let's go pictures. Let's come back down to E. Oh, those are numbers. I don't want numbers. E here we go. E Oops, too far. Right here. Okay. Now, so as you see, we open this picture. This is the part that I was saving. And then we're going to make some more. We're going to make some side views and top views. And then, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just leave it here. And then, well, that way we won't have to look it up every time. So if you wanted to even make this airplane bigger than it is, or if you wanted to, like we could move it. We could move it like this. And to the center here. Okay. Actually, we already did that, so we want it in the same scale. So now we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to make this. And as long as you can see what you're looking at in here, then you're getting the pictures. So now we can come down, save as. Except for this time, we're going to make this two or three. Whoops, segment behind the die here. Okay, one backspace. We're going to put a three there. We're going to change the XCF to JPG, lowercase. We're going to click on D and click on pictures here and save it. Export to dialog and we're going to click export and then we're going to click export one more time. Now since there wasn't a picture to save over the top of it, just exported it. It didn't warn me about, oh you're going to make a mistake. So now if we come back in here we got two we should have a three. Maybe because I didn't open 
and I've got to close it down, but I bet I do. Maybe if I do this and click out, it'll show up. No, it ain't showing up. It's not saying Glen 2. So I'm probably going to have to relook the whole thing up, which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay. It will D. And pictures. Down into the A's, B's, and D. There's a Glen. Oops, CFG, too far. Okay, now, if you notice, this picture is here. So we have a bottom profile, we have a top profile, and we have sides. And, and I could actually actually put these in GIMP and do different things with these and dress them up and white out all of these markers and stuff like that. Uh, another option if I can't get this to download properly, I'm going to minimize this and see if I erase this now. I didn't save this in GIMP but I'm just going to say discard changes and then I'm going to go out of GIMP because I have the pictures I wanted. Okay another option for you let's see where we're doing on time we're 16 minutes okay we're gonna stop there and, and then I'm going to well maybe we can pop this into a 20 minute video I really hate to go over 15 minutes but for the uh, sake of discussion I'm gonna show you right quick where you can get another picture for our drawing we're going to go into Yahoo we're gonna type in uh, capital EY you can already tell I've done this uh, search. My UI4 Glen Airplane. So if you look on Yahoo or Google and you come in here and you find this, there's there's all kinds of articles on this so you can read about this plane. But what we're looking for is go to page two. Actually, it's page two on mine. I'm on I don't know who this joker is with the foul language and stuff. Uh, gee, that's not. I'm looking for. Oh great, now I can't find it. That's great. I was going to show you a a uh, Glenn Miller's Mystery Submarine Base, Bombs Away, RAF. It was called Hawk. Okay, so here's the Wikipedia article. And here's a pretty good article. Anyway, there's pictures like this, and you can save these. If you right-click these, you can save these pictures, and you can use them as reference. And this is in my regular pictures, but I'll go ahead and save it. And then here, you have this little 3D drawing. You could also save this if you really wanted to, and you can blow it up too. So you can save these pictures so that you can have something follow on. What I do like about this picture here is it does have the front view. Even though it's, cr it's a crappy picture. But it's something that you could use as a guideline. But I really wished... <sighs> Let's see what else was I had for search here because... Uh, let's type in pics. Or pictures, back pictures. Huh, that didn't help any. Well, I will bring that up on the next video because I don't want this video to go super, super long. Uh, and when we'll get into the next one, we'll get it into Blender and start drawing it. Peace out. Hope you like this video.